Hello and welcome back to my channel Cad with Jordan. Today in this video I plan on covering how to make different parts inside of assembly invisible or toggle their visibility and we're also going to be covering how to make them translucent as well so that they're still visible but you can see through them. That way you can keep them in your assembly and still manipulate them but you're not required to actually fully get rid of them. So I'm going to be using a assembly in order to do this and this is a vice assembly that I have put together in my course. The course link will be in the description if you'd like to take a look at this yourself. Anyway, the best way for you to toggle the visibility of a part is to simply right click on it and press V and that will just get rid of it. And you'll see on the left hand side in the model tree here that the cube has now gone to a wireframe rather than this shaded model. And that just shows you that the visibility has been disabled. So right clicking and pressing V is a quick way of doing it. Alternatively, you can do it in the model tree and that's how you're gonna turn it back visible again because there's nothing to click here. So you have to come to the model tree and press it. You can also right click the model tree part and then make your way down to the visibility part found right here. And you'll also see in the menu, it says Alt V and that's just a quicker way. If I press Alt and V, that gets rid of it. So that's the visibility toggling for you. Let's say we wanted to see what was going inside of this part of the vice, but we didn't want to totally get rid of this. The way we would do that is by using the transparent command found right here. And this can be done the same way by right clicking and pressing T. And this way you get a very quick change of visibility. And this also works with Alt and T. And unlike with visibility, you still have the part to play around with, which is why I typically prefer to use the translucent or transparent command rather than the visibility command. So yeah, that just about covers it. If you're looking to begin building CAD skills for your future as an engineer, designer, architect, or anything else, then uh, check the link in the description, like I mentioned before. This is a course I created aimed at beginners and it's meant to build a strong foundation for Inventor in which you can then build your own skills upon. The course offers a wide range of lessons teaching you about the majority of tools and basics in the world of Inventor. So if you're interested, click the link in the description and roll now and that'll uh, fast track your success. Thank you for watching.